2 marks questions from the chapter coordination in life processes let us go into the questions the first question write the differences between bolus and chyme let us draw a table with bolus and chyme on either side of the table bolus is the food which is crushed and mixed with the saliva in mouth whereas the chyme is the food which is mixed with gastric juice and ground in stomach in the bolus only the carbohydrates digestion takes place partially whereas in chyme the protein digestion also takes place so the bolus is the food which is properly chewed in the mouth whereas the chyme is the food which is which has been properly ground in the stomach let us see the next one what is the relation of taste and smell the food that smells good stimulates hunger pangs and feel like to eat if the food is smelling good we feel like to eat it if the food smells foul we avoid or do not get proper taste if the food is spoiled then we do not feel like to eat it and it is clearly experienced when we are caught with the cold it means that if the food does not smell properly we cannot eat it with uh, with willingness so it is clearly experienced when we are caught with the cold because during the cold we cannot smell the food and cannot identify the taste of the food this is the relationship between taste and smell next question what happens if salivary ducts are closed this question has been discussed earlier in nutrition lesson itself but let us see it once again if the saliva, salivary salivary gland secretes saliva that helps for the slippery movement of the food in esophagus as well as it also helps for the carbohydrates digestion partially due to the presence of enzyme amylase if the salivary ducts are closed the food may not flow through the esophagus easily and also the carbohydrates digestion uh, will not be properly next question if we press tongue against the palate we can recognize the taste easily why because by pressing the tongue against the palate the food enters the taste buds immediately so that it stimulates the receptor cells and identify the taste very easily and fast next question what kind of control such as neural or hormonal or both are exercised during sensation of hunger I mean what kind of coordination has been take, uh, exercised during the uh, hunger pangs or uh, suppression of hunger both hormonal and neural controls are exercised during sensation of hunger because the hunger pangs are generated due to the release of ghrelin hormone whereas suppressed by leptin hormone at the same time the signals related to the hunger are transferred through the vagus nerve and dinencephalon which are parts of the brain now uh, vagus is a cranial nerve one of the cranial nerves and dinencephalon is the is a part of forebrain so these two majorly involve in transferring the signals related to the hunger pangs hence both hormonal and neural coordination has been exercised during the sensation of hunger 